joined by Saad Soma. If you have any questions, use the raise hand feature. We will start with Steve Juin. Saad, thank you for the time today. My first question for you is about how ready you feel for Tyrell Fortune. You've got a half dozen or so wins in a row on your record. So what do you feel about this next level up going to Bellator? Um, hi, uh, I feel pretty confident about my, in my abilities. I've been training with high level people for quite a while. So I, I, I feel pretty confident. I think I'll, I'm up there ready to compete with the, the higher level guys, you know? Were you surprised that Bellator offered you a featured fight on the main card right away for your debut? Yes, I was very surprised and pretty happy about it, too. <laughs> All right. Best of luck on Thursday. Thank you. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Good. My question is, now you're on with Bellator. Now we can see, like, if there's any surprises we're going to be expecting for this fight coming up? Any surprises? Um, I don't know. I've, I've watched a couple of his fights and, he, you know, he's very, uh, like, the same style every time. You know, I, I, I expect that, I think. Um, I don't know how long he's been in the MMA world, but I, it looks like four years. I don't know if he's been training before that. But people don't grow that, like, that drastically between fights, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I got, like, an idea of what would happen. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Donna. Hey, how's it going? Um, a win over over this guy. Obviously, it, it he's a, a big name in the division. He's coming off the back of you know not the best run in terms of results. But where does a win on Thursday put you in the Bellator heavyweight division? Um, to be honest, I I'm not really sure. Uh, I just getting used to all of this. You know, it's like a new, uh, like <laughs> it's like a worldwide promotion. Um, I I have no idea. Honestly, it just I'm just trying to do this step by step, try to get this win and then go from there. You feeling comfortable being in such a, a big promotion? Obviously, there's a lot more things like what we're doing right now, these media things. And you have to do the quarantine now because of the, the whole. Uh... Yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just going step by step. Like I said, I, I have to deal with it and, and do what I can, you know, like like I, I like it. I'm, I'm happy that I'm here now. All right, looks like we lost Donna. Uh, okay. We'll go to Gabriel. I feel like I don't think he answered this question all the way. Gabriel, your line is live. Thank you. Hi, you know, just wanted to ask, what's it like uh, from your experience personally? Obviously, you talk about doing more media, but you go from the lower level to now, you know, Bellator, it's going to be televised and all this other kind of stuff. What's that experience like for a guy coming up? And it's, it's kind of crazy, you know, you, you get all this, um, I guess, attention all of a sudden and, and, and people, you, you see how people started noticing you and then they tell you like, hey, we were actually noticed before, we just didn't say anything yet because you weren't ready. But so it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah. What's been your favorite part of being on the big show? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> I, can't, I can't put my finger on it, but I, I enjoy it. Fair enough. Final question. Just what do you want fans to know about you as, you know, this is probably going to be their first introduction to you for a lot of people. Um, just keep an eye out. You know, I, I think I'll surprise people. I'm a smaller heavyweight coming from a regional show, but I, I believe in my skill and then, and, and uh, my training. So just keep an eye out. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. All right, our last question comes from Simon Romero. Hey, uh, Simon Romero from MMA Island here. Uh, the last question I have for you here is uh, the only time that uh, you've actually tasted defeat in your professional career has been your, your debut. So what have you done to uh, kind of avoid that problem of uh, feeling that taste once again? Uh, so to be honest, in, in, in my opinion, um, I was off a five-year break from competing. And it was just rust, man. Like I had ring rust. I, I had to. I, I probably should have taken an easier fight before I took that fight. Steve Martin is a very tough guy, you know. He's a, uh, he's he's a, he's an amazing fighter. So, I took that fight like 
fresh off not fighting for part for five years and I was like, eh, I'll do it. Skill wise, I was fine, but I think um, the adrenaline kicked in and, and I, I gassed out. And then um, I used to fight 205, so different paces, you know, so I had, I had to adjust my pace for heavyweight and just work on my nerves, really, like, shake, like getting more relaxed in the ring. All right. That's it. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.